Hi, I'm Dara from WebsitesAsimple.com. In this video, you're going to learn how to make any type of website in just 10 minutes. It's become surprisingly easy to build a website, even if you've no technical skills. And by the end of this video, you will have a complete website live on the internet in just five easy steps. So let's get started. Step one is to get hosting and a domain. Hosting is the place where your website will be stored so people can access it online. And a domain is your website's address, like WebsitesOfSimple.com. To get hosting and a domain, I use and recommend Bluehost because they are the best and most reliable option. And I've organized a pretty cool discount to save you some money. When you click the link in the description, you'll get a free domain and 60% off your hosting. And if you use our referral link to make a purchase, we will receive a commission at no cost to you, so that helps us out too. So once you get to Bluehost, click Get Started and select the basic hosting plan, which is ideal for a new website. Next, we'll set up your domain. You can create a new domain or you can use one that you already own. If you can't decide on a name, you can skip this step and create a domain later. To create a new domain, just enter your website name and click Next. And once you see that your domain is available, Fill out your account information. Untick any extras that you don't want. Enter your payment information. Agree to the terms and hit submit. And once you see that your purchase was a success, go ahead and create an account. Just enter a password and log into the account that you just created. Then answer these short questions about your website. Give some details about yourself and then skip the final step of the onboarding process. You will now be logged in to your Bluehost account where your hosting and domain is already set up. Step two is to log into WordPress. WordPress makes it very easy to create a website without coding. And with Bluehost, WordPress is pre-installed on your website, saving you a step. To log into WordPress, Click WordPress from your Bluehost account. And this will take you to your WordPress dashboard where you can edit your website. Now, believe it or not, your website is already set up. To see what your website looks like, click Visit Site. And you'll see your custom domain name and the default design that comes with WordPress. Step three is to install a new theme. Installing a new WordPress theme will make your website look much better. And the theme I recommend is Astra because it has dozens of free designs for you to choose from. To install a new theme, click into your WordPress dashboard and go to Appearance, Themes, Add a new theme, and search for Astra. Then click Install and Activate. To get the free designs that come with this theme, go to Plugins, Add New, and search for the Astra plugin. And click Install Now and Activate. To see the free designs, click See Library, select Elementor to easily edit these designs, and click on Free at the top to see all of the free designs. Now there are free designs here for all types of websites. So scroll down through them and choose the design that best matches the website that you want to make or choose a design that you like the look of. No matter what design you pick, the process to edit them is very easy and it's the same for every design. Now you can preview any template to see how it will look and to apply a template to a site, click Import Site. And once the import is complete, you can view your new website. And I think you'll agree that this design is a huge improvement from the default design and you also get multiple pages pre-made which really cuts down the time it'll take you to make a website. Step four is to edit your website. It's very easy to make your website look exactly how you want. Just open the page that you want to edit and start making changes instantly. For example, to edit the home page, go to the home page and click Edit with Elementor. To change text, select the text that you want to edit and start typing. You can edit text on a button in the same way. And to change the button color, 
click on the style menu in the sidebar and select the color that you want. You can even change the text color. It's that easy. To edit the background, right click on the background and click edit section. Now your background can be an image, a gradient color, a video or a slideshow. To change the image, click on the existing image, upload your own image and then click insert media to add the picture to your website. Just click update to save changes and click view the page to exit the editor. That's how easy it is to edit any page of your website. Now, what if you want to edit the header, which appears across the top of every page on your website? It's very easy. To edit the header, click Customize and click any of the blue icons to start editing. For example, to change the logo, click on the blue icon next to the logo. Change the logo for your own. And if you don't have a logo, you can remove the logo and display the site title. Click Publish to save changes and exit the editor. That's how easy it is to edit the header of your website. Now, what if you want to edit the footer, which appears across the bottom of every page on your website? It's also very straightforward. To edit the footer, click Edit with Elementor, Site Footer, and select anything to begin editing. For example, to edit text, just select the text and start typing. Click Update to save changes and click View the page to exit the editor. That's how easy it is to edit the footer of your website. Now, what if you want to add a new page to your website? It's very simple. To add a new page, all you need to do is click on New, Page, add a page title, and then click Edit with Elementor. To add content to the page, simply drag and drop templates from the editor on the left onto the page. For example, to add a title, drag and drop the heading template onto the page and click on the text to edit it. To add more content to the page, click back to the templates and drag and drop another template onto the page. And once you're done, Click Publish to save changes and click View the page to exit the editor. That's how easy it is to add a new page to your website. Now, what if you want to add this new page to the menu at the top of your site so that people can find it easily? It's very simple. To edit the menu, click Customize and click on the blue icon next to the menu. Then click Edit Menu on the left and click Add Items to add a page. Then click on the page that you want to add from the list on the right and your page will automatically be added to the menu. You can reorder the items in the menu if you want and you can also remove any pages from the menu by clicking on the X. Once you're done, Click Publish to save changes and exit the editor. That's how easy it is to edit the menu of your website. So now that you know how to edit every part of your website, it's time to move on to the final and most exciting step. Step five is to launch your website. This is the most exciting step because a website is such a unique and powerful way to connect with the world. Right now, your website is displaying a coming soon page to visitors. To launch your website, click the coming soon button at the top of the page and then launch your site. Congratulations. Your site is now live and you have your own little piece of the internet. That wraps up how to make any type of website in just 10 minutes. Click here if you'd like to get a recap of the five steps, subscribe for more tutorials, share this video with friends, and comment below for what video I should do next. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.